Greetings from Tokyo, my dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I hope you are all doing very, very well. So now it is close to the end of the year 2019. So we're now in the final weeks of December of 2019. Gosh. Time certainly flies, does it not, my friends? So we are close to the end of the year and close to the start of a new one. As I did last year at this time of year, this year what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk to you about the year that was with respect to the Criterion Collection. So as some of you may know, I am a, I am a fan of the Criterion Collection, and so I have been following the Criterion Collection for a number of years, including this year, 2019, and that means I have been uh, looking at the releases that the Criterion Collection made over the course of this year, starting from January 2019 and ending with the final releases from the Criterion Collection in December, which I received uh, about a week or so ago. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, inaugurate a set of videos whereby I would like to share with you just some personal thoughts that I have with regard to these releases from the Criterion Collection in 2019. So I will try to spread them out over the course of the next several days and they will be covering a, d some different categories. So I will try to uh, I'll try to mention those categories of course when I make the videos. So please keep a lookout on this channel for further updates on that and further videos which I will post. And then that will uh, end with a sort of final video where I will talk about my favorite releases from the Criterion Collection from this year, favorite overall releases. I must let you know that I, am, I have a list of favorite releases and other uh, favorites in the particular categories that I have developed. But I must admit that these exercises are incredibly difficult for me for a number of reasons. The, one of the reasons is that I find myself always changing my mind. And, and I, even now I'm looking at the list that I made for my, let's say, top 10 favorite Criterion releases from 2019. And I'm finding that I'm changing the order of things around even now. So uh, I've sort of settled on a list, but please note that creating these sorts of lists are usually... Uh, very difficult exercises for me and I struggle with these sorts of things uh, very often and as a result my lists might not end up being the most perfect or appropriate uh, lists and they might not please everyone but uh, that's just uh, the nature of these things I suppose it's, I'm, I find myself very indecisive but that's part of the fun and I think that's part of the, the the fun of the discipline if you will of trying to be decisive when it comes to these things so there's that and the other reason I, I wanted to bring up is uh, you know I'm 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 very uh, cognizant of the uh, sort of the philosophical concept uh, for these sorts of lists and also against these sorts of lists in particular against you know I I am very much aware of the argument against having top 10 lists uh, for instance you know it seems like a rather arbitrary number why choose 10 instead of you know, 12 or 15 or 40 or 100 why uh, how can we judge these films uh, on a ranking scale or quantitatively where we're dealing with works of art. It seems, therefore, if we're dealing with works of, works of art, that these sorts of lists might seem to be inadequate or inappropriate or just uh, plain um, wrong. I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, I've, I'm fully appreciative of those 
sort of arguments against the, uh, the, the how should I put it, the, um, the, uh, the value and worth, shall we say, of lists like these. I completely get that. But I would say, as a gentle response to any sort of uh, criticism like that, I, as I say, I, I am aware of those criticisms, and I wouldn't go so far to say that I don't share those uh, sentiments to a certain degree. But I would also temper my, my view with the, the notion that these lists are always going to be subjective lists. They are not meant to be determinative. They are not meant to be uh, be-all, end-all lists that must apply to everyone. They only apply to one person, me, because I'm the one who made them. And they are based off of my own uh, general takes, my, my, uh, my interests, my experiences, my life experiences, my... Uh, my hobbies, my uh, dislikes, my likes, and that sort of thing. And I'm, those are all little things and elements of a character that all come together to compose a single individual, that is, I. So I, am, uh, I, I, I want to just uh, encourage the, the concept, if you will, that these lists are wholly subjective and they are meant to be such. They are never meant to be anything that is a kind of objective, uh, uh, one-size-fits-all, it-must-apply-to-everyone type of thing. Viewers of this channel uh, know that concept very well, um, and uh, viewers of this channel also uh, provide uh, your own lists and I'm always welcome to listen to those and, and read those as well so uh, this is more of an opportunity more than anything else I think to share our thoughts of the year and so that that's the the sort of gentle uh, kind of, uh, comment I would make on that and also related to that you know the the idea of of, um, of lists also I think is a very um, convenient tool uh, to convey information from myself to you, the viewers, and you, my friends. What do I mean by this? I, I think that, again, I'm perfectly cognizant of the arguments in, against these lists and against the value of these lists. I, I get that. And as I say, I, there's a, a certain part of me, to a certain degree, that agrees with those arguments against lists. But also, I must admit that having a list and appreciating its qualities as well as its, uh, its uh, uh, shortcomings, I think is very, uh, lists are also very important because they are a, a way to convey information in a sort of easy to understand form. It's very easy for people, I think, to, to understand a top 10 list. And it's very uh, digestible uh, in terms of information uh, about conveying uh, views and opinions about something that is very subjective, that is, these works of art that we call film. So I find, therefore, the lists to be a kind of a valuable tool to show uh, my feelings about certain films uh, in a sort of comparative nature. And there's, I think, no better uh, and uh, sort of easy to digest manner of showing that comparative thought than in a top 10 list. And so I think that it is a very valuable tool. And once again, I appreciate its shortcomings and its uh, weaknesses, but also, at the same time, I do appreciate that it can be a great way to convey information. And as I say also, they are meant to be fun and just innocent uh, ways of, of approaching discussing films and cinema. So uh, if anything, they can just be a sort of starting point, hopefully, uh, for many discussions uh, between yourselves and me or between uh, or among yourselves as well and the like and we can go from there.
So this is, I guess, a, a very long-winded way for me to invite you all to share with me over the course of these upcoming videos. Share with me, please, your favorites of the year. And this is going to be Criterion theme uh, videos, of course. So if you want to share with me your Criterion favorites, of course you're welcome to. But I also want to be as open as possible. So if you also you want to share with me some of your favorites from the year that don't happen to be Criterion titles, that is great as well. I would love to hear that. And uh, you can share with me and share with everyone else here, uh, who uh, your friends and your colleagues and uh, your fellow film enthusiasts. Uh, sh please share with all of us what films that you particularly enjoyed over the course of 2019, uh, whether they be Criterion or otherwise. I am open for everything. So with that, my friends, I hope that you enjoy these upcoming videos. And once again, they are just my own views and opinions and thoughts. They are not meant to be in any way definitive lists of any kind. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you, you know that already. Um, and so with that, my friends, I hope you enjoy these videos. That's my little brief introduction. So if you have any thoughts or comments in the meantime, of course, please feel free to let me know in the section, a comment section below. I'd love to hear what it is you have to say, as always, my friends. But uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next couple videos. So until we meet again, my friends, take care of yourselves and be well and cheers.